Why, look. It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... Ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him, and he'll lead you straight to your prize. They should ship him to Bedlam. me to hear your saying so. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. As you say, sir. All up and on, well, boys. We're going home. You there! Stop! <laughs> Get out of your head! There! After them! Think you're a fast one, do you? Push them to the right, boys. Bastards in me sight. Oh, gallants, royals, stars! Oh, 
Backfords people. Do you know them? The Backfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Backfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous, too. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers that crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in taxes made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, it stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Loose the mains, how safe? Sneak ashore. We'll look after the jack. such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here. By pilots, if my eyes on me, though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though, not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch, and keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. 
Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please! The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! Interloper, raise the alarm! No! Shit! Alarm! Alarm! Bastards of the state! It warms the heart. Common decent call. <laughs> I've done nothing, no part in any of this. I'm just a common decent call. No warrior, just a poor workman. Spare me. Oh, Intruder, I need some help here. <laughs> 